guys, so I wanted to talk to you today about taking your measurements. It's super important to do that before and after, and if you want to do a midway through a new workout program that you're starting. So uh, about two years ago, I went down a jean size, but only lost one pound. So if I was sitting there like comparing myself to the scale, I would have been super upset. Um, so I really, I just want you to get out of the, the focus of the scale defines me, because it truly doesn't. So adjust my camera a little bit here. And the first place you're going to measure is your waist. Your waist is the smallest portion between your belly button and your nipples. So basically, if you're looking from the back, it would be the smallest portion. So it's helpful if you can have a mirror behind you to look or if you have somebody there to help you. So for me, it would be right about here. And I'm going to make sure that it's straight all the way around. Another reason why it's good to have either somebody else or a mirror so you're not like, oh, look, it looks good. Um, okay, so that's your waist. And then um, your hips are going to be the widest portion between your, uh, or basically the widest portion around your butt. So if you're looking at it from the sides, it's easy to tell where the widest portion is. And again, this one is really easy. You can be like, oh, this is good. <laughs> so either using um, somebody else to help you or um, a mirror to make sure that it's not flipped and it's straight across all the way around. Because that looks, so even if this would look pretty good to me, you know, okay, I could look back and it could be like this. So very important to do that. Um, I always have my husband help me with my um, arm because it's just kind of hard. So it's the widest portion around your arm. Now you're not going to be flexing because you don't need to be doing that, but you're just going to look at the widest portion and then take that measurement there. And again, it's um, you're not flexing, you're just relaxed, but it's easy to have somebody else help you. So you're going to take the right and the left bicep. And then let me adjust this again. Um, down here now. Um, you're going to do the widest portion around your um, thighs. Another thing that you can do is just kind of find that hip bone um, and do like a, and then the top of your knee and meet where your hands meet in the middle. And you can use that spot. So that to me is really easy instead of being like, where is the widest? I kind of just do this, find that hip bone, and then meet halfway so I know each time I'm going to measure it right there. And um, if, you, if it's easier, you can even use a pen and mark it, you know, whatever. And then once you're there, again, make sure that it's even all the way around. And then you would measure your right and left leg there. So I hope that helps. Um, there's no need for you to do like your stomach, this, that, a million locations, your calves. Um, just stick with the basics, waist, hip, um, right arm, left arm and right hip or right leg, left leg. And uh, make sure that you're checking your measurements uh, regularly, you know, um, once every two to four weeks and focusing on that over the scale because the scale is just kind of a jerk sometimes. So I hope that helps. And if you have any questions, just let me know.